So what load is ideal in an IC process? Well, it turns out that a current source load is the ideal load in an IC process. Assuming that our transistor has some output resistance. And the current load uh, is ideal, the current source load is ideal because current sources have high impedance. regardless of the voltage across them. And we want to make sure we're talking about ideal current sources. And we can approximate a current source with a transistor. Remember when our current when our transistor is in the saturation region it looks like a transistor it looks like a current source So we're going to take a look at two examples The first example would be to take an NMOS transistor Connect the gate to the drain of the transistor. And remember, our bulk is grounded. And we'll run some ID through the transistor. Now, we know that a diode-connected transistor is always in saturation. So this transistor is in saturation and hence looks like a current source. So this is a diode-connected NMOS. We, of course, can also look at a PMOS transistor as a load. In the PMOS transistor, we'll place some V bias on the gate of the transistor. We tie the bulk of the PMOS transistor to the supply voltage, VDD, and we run some ID through the transistor. Now, in this case, we need to make sure that V bias is set in such a way that the transistor remains in saturation. And this, this uh, will be called a PMOS current source load. So here we're going to start by investigating the diode connected NMOS transistor. So if we look into the source terminal of the diode connected transistor, what would Rn be for our diode connected NMOS? And remember, we can use our inspection sheet. So we would take our NMOS transistor. And recall that we're looking into the source of the transistor. And we proved this in our homework that Rn is equal to, or approximately equal to, 1 divided by Gm plus Gmb. In this case, it's exactly equal to 1 over Gm plus Gmb. So the question is, what can we say about the size of Rl, of Rn? It's not very big. Remember, we want GM uh, to be quite uh, to be rather large because the higher the GM, the higher the gain, and so our GMs are typically going to be in the range of 
a couple of hundred millisiemens, you know, uh, tens of millisiemens to a couple of hundred millisiemens, and that might that would mean that the load resistance that this transistor RN would present would be in the range of, you know, tens of ohms to hundreds of ohms. So tens to hundreds of ohms. And we need something larger to achieve high gain. And we'll look at the PMOS uh, current source load in the next slide, or in the next set of...